I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. My man is out here. Steph Curry in it. But Terry gets out of her seat and goes behind Asuki, then wraps her arms around her. What's going on with y'all? Y'all been doing a lot of that lately. Hey, go. Uh, hey, okay. Look, <laughs> doki doki. Which one of you girls want that pokey pokey? Ooh, hey, go ahead and take a pic. Hey, girl, you know you want this. What's good, my fellas? You know, it's your boy Uzumaki Kwan. <laughs> Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, last time we played this joint, um, it didn't really get too crazy. We just read a couple poems. They were lit poems, by the way. But I gotta get a feeling about this episode. I feel like things about to pop off. So without further ado, we're just gonna get right to it. So let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> All right, back in there. All right, starting off with your boy. Phew! You know what I'm saying? Okay, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. This is after we read the poems, if you guys don't remember. All right, it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Oh, wait, hold up. Not really, because, you know, our girl, Sayori, she was feeling it a little bit. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. All right, what's going on? They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective. Poem. Their respective poems, my bad. Alright, as they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Uh oh, what y'all doing? Natsuki's eyebrow furrow in frustration. Eyebrows furrow in frustration. Oh, she doesn't like it. Oh, is it too much to her handle? Oh, she, she's mad. She's probably pissed. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What the? How can you smile sadly? How, how do you do that? Alright, what's with this language? Wait, what? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, come on, don't do that. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Uh, cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Ooh, 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 she getting feisty. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Oh, she gonna hit us with the suggestions. Hit her with the suggestions she gave us. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. <laughs> Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Quan did too. You're right, you're right. I did like, I actually did like her poem though. It was kind of cool. I like all of their poems, to tell the truth. All right, uh, so based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my rank. Oh! <laughs> Get him! And Quan liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Hey, what's going on? What y'all doing? Natsuki suddenly stands up. Why did the music stop? Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Oh, we got some new tunes? Ooh, hey, ooh. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Quan appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, they're fighting over me. No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Ooh, yo, what's going on? What's up? Oh, there's, there's Bay. Okay, uh, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Quan started showing up. Oh, whoa, what is going on? What's up, yo? Natsuki, she just put a push-up bra on, you know what I'm saying? Hey, um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Oh, they're laughing at her. This doesn't involve you! I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn toward me as if they just noticed I was standing there. How did I get dragged in this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Uh, Jump into the bay! Let's get it! Sayori, help your boy out! N Natsuki? Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. What? So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? What the? But Yuri's been so defensive that I can't bring myself <laughs> to say anything to her. Sayori! Huh? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. What? <laughs> it's, no, that ain't. Oh, my dude tried to spin it around on the girl like that. That's crazy. Okay. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Kwan. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It is about her. What you mean? This whole game is about her. That's Bayret. Stop! Natsuki. Yuri. You guys are my friends. I... I just want everyone to get along and be happy. 
My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. There you go, that's just my girl right there, this is what I'm talking about. Sayuri stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. No! Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. How could she? Oh, sorry, her eyes are closed then. So, this is why Sayuri is vice president. <sighs> I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayuri is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? you darn right. You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? Hey, you already know. I would hate to see her get herself hurt. What you mean? What you, what you, what you trying to, what you, what you trying to imply right now? What's going on? Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Quan, how about you? It was lit. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to um, talk about with everyone. I feel like I gotta sneeze again. Hold up. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about what kind of about the kind of poem everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. You already know what I'm about to do. Poem number two. All right, I'm going to try to go for my same poem, all right? I'm going to try to make this thing sexy. Let's try to make a sexy poem once again. All right, all right. You know what? No, we're just going to do a bunch of stuff that we know that our our girl likes. So let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. Not really. Um, I know the girl with the pink hair likes like the little cutesy stuff. Eternity. Oh, that works, but that's not who I want. Uh, she likes fantasy. Let's do unending. No. Uh, sugar. No, dude. Now we're not gonna get our girl. Contamination. Hopeless. Okay, hopeless. She likes really dark stuff. Okay. All right, we finished the poem, and our girl was really into some dark ish. Yo, what the? Don't tell me she's the bad guy in the game. Because I honestly, I haven't watched anybody play through this game. Like, real talk, I haven't watched anybody play anything. I just know the premise. I just know it's a horror game that disguises itself as a dating simulator. That's literally all I know. I don't even know if we actually get to choose, girl. Okay. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. Oh, God. Okay, I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. All right. Hi, Kwan. Yo, Sayuri. Yo, this guy. Okay. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being the club. That's all. Being in the club. That's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Let's go get some food. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Yeah, for sure. Oh, whoa. Why wouldn't you go? Huh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh oh, uh oh, oh, this dude knows her like the back of his hand. Okay, no reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. She ain't got no money. She want me to buy the snack. So he nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down, lets the contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall. I told you, she just want me to pay for her snacks. What do you think of him? If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. Get him. That's what I'm talking about. So either you're not hungry or want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. Hey, but there's no one more thing. You're always hungry. <laughs> and so that only leaves the one option. You what? <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Haha. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Uh, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri! Well, tell Kwan to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution, okay? What's up with all these big birds, girl? What you trying to do? Don't get, don't get literature club! I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. 
that's there's no way you could think that you were right though i did something bad and now i have to accept the revolution what hey man chill what's going on retribution that still coming from you sayori i guess there's a little devil inside of all of us isn't there stop here we go, bro. It's this game has been dropping little subtle hints the entire time. Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But but you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. My girl, schemer. All right, finesse queen. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> he just slapped her. What just happened? Kya! Out of nowhere, someone smacks her in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Huh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. I know what this means. This is, um, the little one. The little one made it. Sorry, it glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. Girl, retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Haha. <laughs> Natsuki, that's not nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Shogun! Oomph! Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Mm. You're going through a lot of lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers, but yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave that one to you? Gave you that one, fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sorry, gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. What's going on with y'all? Y'all been doing a lot of that lately. Come on, I get it, I get it. Hey, I get it, I get it. No matter the better, the better, the better, I get it, I get it. I don't remember the song. Excuse me. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Huh? Monica. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since uh, I was practicing piano. So you were just studying. You were in study hall. You were just studying. All right, and you lost track of time. Then love when it calls you out on your junk. Natsuki calls you out on your junk. Says you would have heard the bell, my guy. And then you go, oh, I was just playing the piano. You feel me? What's going on with you? Sorry, something comes up to me. I'm gonna get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Supplies. What for? Well, you know, the festival is coming up. Me and Monica, we're going to make some posters and stuff, so I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Crayons. You still use crayons? Ain't you like, ain't you high school right now? The freak? Ah, I see. <clears throat> sure, I'll go with you. Yay. Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, right, let's go. New scenery. Ah, are you going with Quan to get the supplies? Oh, there's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. What? No, 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 no. I'm going with, no, I'm going with Sayuri. Because I don't trust you. Oh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring into classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, it was just a suggestion. See if you can find a poster paper too, okay? Okay. Ready, Kwan? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Me and you, girl. This is our alone time. This is what we need. Sorry, and I exited the clubroom. I follow behind us. Sayuri hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sorry, it finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, Sayori, what exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Wait. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. <laughs> Come on! You're not thinking about it right. You're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. What you mean? Oh, oh! I can rap? Spit some bars on stage? I could do that. Like, you say the lines of the poem. Like, you say the lines of the poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem. Bring it from its clinging roots. 
caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends uh, have, have I summoned this joy? All right, it got weird. For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. She got bars. She got bars. It got it got a little weird in there in the middle, towards the end in the middle, the middle end. But she did a thing. You meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Ah, I know, I know. I just mean that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. Hey, see how he's sliding them, he's sliding them, them compliments in there like that. No boy Vanessa. This is a different room. The two of us enter the classroom. Sire so heads straight to the closet and I follow. Oh, let's go in there. Uh, let's see, what's it called? 10 seconds of heaven? Three minutes of heaven? Seven seconds of heaven? I don't know. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Oh my god, you really wanted crayons for real, bro? Alright, Sayuri pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand, too. They're kind of dirty, though. Sayuri starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted, we still need to find... Wait! I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. <laughs> Man, come on with this little jump scares, bro. Hey, they setting me up. They know what they're doing. They know what they don't. Sayori clutches her forehead. Gee, Sayori, that's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. Ooh. Why are you sitting like that? What you doing? You're crazy. All right. Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Come on. Where would I even find ice in around this time? Uh, I guess a cold drink will do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. She's adorable, dude. Even wincing from the pain, sorry, it makes a silly joke. Haha, <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Uh, okay. Alright, let's go get her some ice. Let's go get her some ice. I pass her on the shoulder and run into the hallway. I look at the nearest vending machine. Uh, what should I get? It doesn't really matter since it would be used as an ice pack rather than a drink. But I know Sorry really likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. Just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sorry, She's gone. Oh, she's still there. Okay. Okay. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were really in the wrong spots before I spilled them. <sighs> Sayori here. I mean, Sayori here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sayori places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, Quan, this is kind of reminds me of. This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Huh? What do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I fall and scrape myself or get a bump and I would start crying really hard <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could you would try really hard to get me to stop crying it was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out oh she got the apple juice on the forehead I didn't even see that I guess we should go back I don't want to worry Monica you know we didn't get the paper good time I was just about to ready I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems eh Sorry, your forehead. Oh, poem time. Let's get it. She's fine. Don't worry about it. I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. Why that's so sad? <laughs> this is so awkward. Okay. Well, anyway, were you able to find it? <laughs> were you able to find everything we needed? Uh huh. I have it, right? Uh huh. She lost the crayons. So, you frankly glances around herself. I forgot all the stuff. Oh, calm down. Sorry. I have it all right here. Oh, okay. I found the post-it paper too. There we go. <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Quan. Uh, well, Sayori, I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. Uh, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? I guess I should grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Poem time! Poem time! It's poem time! Alright, well, who should I show my poems to? Oh, you already know, we're gonna go in the same exact order we did last time. So we did this Iori first, and from there we go from there, you know what I'm saying? Huh. Come on. I really love your poems. Yes! That boy is winning! Alright, I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Hey, I made them for you. Hey, that's why I've been hiding. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. Stop lying, boy. She called you knock, uh, uh, sorry, but your poems are so good. Yesterday's and this one too. 
You can't tell me you haven't done this before. Yeah, yesterday. I mean, <laughs> uh, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Huh? No way! Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well... I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. My man is out here. Steph Curry in it, but he is out here. James Harden with the shot, boy. Keep going, keep shooting consistency, boy. We got this Clay Thompson all day. I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. He, he like shoots, he does it. He shoots his shot. But it's like he takes it back, you know what I'm saying? It's like. <laughs> Nah, I was just practicing, cuz that don't really count. I was just playing. That ain't real. I did, it's just practice. You know what I'm saying? It's like he in, uh, in the freaking gym shooting free throws. Sorry, he stops filling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Quan, will you give me your poem? What do you mean? You wanna keep it? Yeah, give it to her. I kinda wanna keep it. Hey, yeah, yeah, you can have it. Huh? Why? Uh, because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. The last one was for you too, baby. <laughs> I still haven't read your poem. Oh. Sorry, I forgot about that, but it's not as good as yours. Okay, before we get into this, all right, <clears throat> I'm going to jump off on a whim here because this is a thought that's racing in my head. I don't know if this is actually in the game, but if it is, it's crazy. Because when I watch movies, here we go. When I watch movies, I always like to predict the outcome of what's going to happen. All right, so here's one of my predictions. What if all this is a facade, okay? Say, I've been growing up with this girl forever, you know, and then it turns out this is all just some sort of ritual thing just to get me to come into the classroom. Say her and all these girls are all part of some ritual and I'm going to come here and be sacrificed. Okay. What if the litter lit club is something else? What if it's a bulk tilt? That's lit club backwards, I guess. But what, like, what if it's something like that? You know what I'm saying? I just had to get it out because that was in my head right now. So, yeah, with the ADD, it's just like, so I had to, I had to say, I had to say it, I had to say it. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle was starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off of my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up, and in come my friends. And they come, in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo. inside my head. Okay, if I read into this, this girl feels like she feels alone. You know what I'm saying? So is this okay? Let me do my analysis. Okay. So is she talking about the girls in the lit club? So if she's talking about them, I feel like she has um, people issues, social issues. She's afraid to open up to people. So I think that's what this is about. I think this is about her saying that. Uh, um, she has trouble opening up to people and all that sort of stuff and the only person that she really opens up to is this guy right here Well, not me the Quan in the game and uh, She's apparently I guess she's saying anytime she's ever opened up or tried to be friends with someone and shared happy Thoughts or anything like that with them. It just didn't turn out. Maybe she got picked on maybe they're like ah We don't care. We just using you for To get something or something like that. So that's a good poem. That's really good. All right, baby. All right, number two. Uh, do we, we didn't do Natsuki next. We did Yuri. All right, so we're gonna go Yuri. No, we go Natsuki because the one we just read was kind of dark. So we'll just go with this one. Let's go Natsuki. See what she's got going on. Hmm. I liked your last one better. Well, because that one you snuck your junk up in there, but I wasn't trying to cater to you. The heck you mean? Uh, really? Well, yeah. I can tell you were a little more daring with this one. I can tell you were a little more daring with this. What you mean? 
But you're really not good enough for that yet. It felt flat. Hey, man, don't you be... Hey, don't be roasting me up in here. This is my first time. You need to chill out. Anyway, here's my poem. Maybe you'll learn something. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wrinkly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Say no freaking poem. She just, I don't know what she's doing. She just talk, talking, she, she roasting people. I don't, what's her problem? Why she gotta go around roasting everybody all the time? God damn, you got some pent up aggression, girl. You need to handle some, you need a man. That's what you need. You need, I don't, a woman. <laughs> anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. Yeah, you just straight up just roasted the chick for liking spiders. And you said she's gross, she's gross, she's disgusting. But, uh, and it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Okay, like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about not anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Okay, everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. You know what's cool? Like, all this stuff, like... Like, the creators of games, they know what they're talking about. Like, all these poems type structures and stuff, they're all, like, relevant, like, in, like, today's music. Say, like, use rap, for example. Her. Her stuff is, like, very surface level, straight to the point. You know exactly what she's talking about. So, she's more like a, I wouldn't say mumble rappers. I would say Drake. I would say Drake. He, there's no underlying meaning to his music. There's no double entendres, triple entendres. That's, that's probably too much for y'all to understand. But there's no, like, underlying, it's not... What is it? It's not conscious rap. Thing is, you need all that stuff. You need you need balance. So she's right with what she's talking about, saying you ain't got to be all like that. And the, but the other girl's also right when right when saying that you 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 ain't got to be simple. You can be all sim um, complex and stuff too, because you need you need you need the best of both worlds. You need a balance. All right, let's go and do Yuri's poem now. Yes, or oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Yuri. All right, Yuri. All right, girl. We already know. Let's see what you've written for today. Look, she's already ready. She's like a, she's like a teacher, bro. She's already ready, yo. Hmm. All right, Sensei, what you got for me? Well done, Kwan. Oh, you like it? Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Oh, yeah. See, when we were doing it, she was getting a lot of them, too. It was her and Sayuri. Sayuri got more, and she got second place, and uh, Natsuki got a little, like, two or three. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um... Well, an example of that, if you'd like to read it. Alright, let's do it! Let's do it! Show me, show me a jump! Of course, let's go! Is this the poem you wrote for today? Uh, Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. Okay, let's go! It's about to get crazy! Let's do it! The Raccoon It happened in the dead of the night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited, or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon is taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic Provolian conditioning, I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. There's definitely a deep dark owner meaning to that. So she's just talking about herself again. There was really no raccoon, it's just her, the animal inside of her, the raccoon, the, the hunger inside of her. That's what I think it was. Alright, that's a... Uh... Three, four, the three down, the last one, Monica. Why should I show my poem? Oh, who should I show my poem? All right, uh, hi again, Kwan. All right, did, did she like our poem last time? I don't remember. I don't remember. How's the writing going? I don't know. All right, I guess. <laughs> I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy with, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you come up with a masterpiece. Hey, man, you better, hey, all right. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. 
I give my poem to Monica. All right, what you gonna say? All right, it's pretty good. Hey, I told you, I think she just likes it though. Makes me think of Sayuri like the other one that you wrote. That's right. I really don't trust you. She's the watcher, okay? The three girls in the game, they're the pawns. She's the all seeing eye. She notices everything that's going on. She knows all. Every choice I make, she knows. I'm trying to tell you, boy. I, what if my my all these these theories I'm saying are right, bro? I probably get goosebumps if it happens. Real talk. Uh, makes me think it's area like the other one did. All right, you two are like the dynamic duo. Why you do this, girl? He's like, oh, oh, oh. all right. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you spend, you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. Hey, ain't shy. I'm, I'm not. Oh. Well, he said it's like me, but he stuttered. I wouldn't stutter. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone, but Yuri and Natsuka are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. No! This is the game talking to me. This isn't the character talking to me. This is the game talking to me. It's trying to tease me and to me up and to make me go and try to talk to one of the other girls and get killed. I don't know if you could die, but I ain't. Nah! All my time is gonna be invested in Sayori and Sayori alone. You wanna read my poem now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's read it. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. I hope I do too. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, waveform, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign, cosine, tangent, like playing a chopper on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. What? What does that mean, bro? I don't know, bro, but I feel like I am on the right track with what everything I'm saying right now. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Monica, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's happening? Square up with one time. One time. One time, Monica. Come on, man. Y'all see what I'm saying, man? See what I'm saying, bro? I'm, bro, I'm about to quit. Real, I'm about to quit. Hey, I'm about to quit. <laughs> quit. Hey, what, what happens? Don't forget to save your game. What's going on, man? What's up with this? What's going on? Hey, what's happening? Let's see what, what they say next. I'm scared. You never know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. I say right now. How you like that? Did you expect that, did you? Did you expect me to do that? I don't think you did. Okay, um, let's go. Uh, uh, I'm nervous. All right, Scott, we're going to end this bad boy right here, man. Oh, man, what? Man, what's, what's really good? How's he going to just straight up break the fourth wall out of nowhere and just like, hey, hey, something bad might happen. Make sure you say that game. Man, come on, man. I ain't, like, I know this is a trope. I'm not... She ain't gonna get me, bro. But anyways, man, if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like. If you're trying to get down with this Shinobi, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that bell icon to notify you every time I make a post or a video. But until then, I hope you guys spread peace, love, and positivity, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, mama built the saint. Yeah, counting up the O's, I think. Yeah, looking at the O's, I drink.